Hey guys, this is Matt with 400ponics.com and today I'm going to be talking about some of the differences between soilless medium and soil um, and we're also going to be looking at some of the pros and cons of each of them. Um, first we'll start talking about soilless. Um, the definition of uh, hydroponic medium is something that has no nutritional value. Um, hydroponic plants are always going to get their nutrients from a mixture of nutrients and water that is given to the plant by you or a pump system or some kind of automated watering system. There is no real nutrition in the medium. For instance, a container of rocks or hydroton has no nutrients in it. So where is the plant getting all of its food from? From the mixture of food and water. When we're growing in something like cocoa core or sphagnum peat moss or perlite or a mixture of any of those, um, that has zero nutritional value. It's just a medium for roots to grow in, very similar to rocks. So we need to provide that plant with all the food it needs to get through a mixture of food and water just the same. Only difference in this scenario is that our medium is, is cocoa core peat moss is going to hold water significantly longer than um, a container of rocks or hydroton. Which is why in hydroton um, or uh, rocks with flood and drain, you have to constantly flood and drain to make sure your roots aren't drying out. In this scenario, our medium is going to hold our nutrients for three to five days, depending on the size of the plant and how healthy it is and how much it's drinking. Um, so keep in mind, if the medium that you are using has zero nutritional value, you are using a soilless medium, even you could say a hydroponic medium, and that you are in control of everything that plant gets. And um, if the plant needs food, it's up to you to give it to them. Um, some pros of, high, of soilless medium growing are going to be faster growth, um, vigorous growth, very similar to hydroponic growth. Um, you're going to have more control over what your plant gets. It's easier to make up special nutrients for different varieties of plant. Um, you can also grow a bigger plant in a uh, smaller container. Um, works great for synthetic nutrients and um, I would say one of my favorite pros of it is just lightweight, easy to use, um, you know, not a ton of labor involved in moving it around and the the ability to feed your plants as strong as you need to um, without having to worry about any kind of pumps or reservoirs or timers or uh, flooding your basement, uh, any of the issues that you might come into with running actual water culture systems are taken out, but you still get all those benefits. Um, the other pro that I can think of is that in a traditional hydroponic system, you don't get to add a lot of organics to your line because it can cause issues with biofilms and bacteria growth. If you're running a high soilless medium, you can not only get those same benefits as hydroponics, but we can also incorporate more stink funky organic stuff to increase our flavor and aroma so it's almost a hybrid between the two. Um, some of the cons that I can think of is that um, you do need to do quite a bit of runoff um, which can go through a lot of nutrients. You do use a lot of nutrients considering you feed pretty much every time you water. You know obviously there's going to be some leaching involved but majority of the time you're going to be using nutrients. Um, so you do go through a lot of bottled nutrients. You are mixing a lot of nutrients constantly. Um, every time those plants dry out, you're going to have to mix up some food and give it to them. So depending on the amount of time you have um, for your garden, it might be too labor intensive or uh, too demanding for you. Um, but other than that, it's a great medium. And uh, if you're thinking about trying to get into hydroponics and you don't want to mess with a bunch of reservoirs and timers, but you still want to get that vigorous, big yield, fast growth, really think about something like a soilless medium. Um, and next up, we'll look at soil. Um, soil has got the opposite of the soil list where you have a ton of food in it, bone meal, blood meal, green sand, you know, worm castings, bat guano. And obviously, depending on the soil, some are hotter or some are less, you know, what we call spicy. Um, you have a lot of food in some of them and, and some are just very low nutrient charge. But if there's a nutrient charge in it, it does fall into the, you know, more soil category. Um, most soils are going to be more dense than something like a cocoa fiber or a sphagnum peat moss. Um, they're going to have a lot more food in them, which means that you have to be careful when you transplant small plants into them. You can put clones right into a soilless plant and start feeding the proper amount of parts per million and go right from there. In soil, you're going to have to probably come up with some kind of lighter soil mix for smaller plants and then maybe a heavier soil mix for later flowering plants or later veg plants. Um, the possibility of pests um, coming along in a bag of dirt are quite a bit higher than something like that's more sterilized like a soilless medium would be. Um, but your flavor and aroma are going to be quite a bit higher. Um, there's a symbiosis that kind of happens with organic nutrients in, in particular and soil and roots that are harder to replicate with a soilless medium. And it also one of the big advantages, what I would say, which is be less messing with it. You know, the pH of your nutrient in your water is not nearly as important. I would still recommend keeping tabs on it, but this is a, has the ability to buffer itself. Um, 
you know, things like less nutrients, which means less trips to the shop, um, going through less bottle nutrients, um, will save you a little bit of time and energy um, because this is taking care of some of the growing and some of the food for you. Um, so yeah, a couple things just to keep in mind. If you've been wondering about the difference, we get a lot of people saying that I grow in soil and then we end up talking about it and it ends up turning out that they're in soilless and they haven't been feeding enough or they haven't been mixing strong enough um, or vice versa. They're in a soil and they're feeding way too much too often or putting way too small of a plant into way hot, too hot of a dirt. So always look at the ingredients list on the bags of dirts. You know, make, if you don't know, ask somebody to make sure if this is more of a soil based thing or this is more of a soilless uh, and then feed accordingly. So I hope this video cleared some things up between the differences of soil and soilless. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, comment below and we'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.